So I've just woke up, no obviously I haven't, um, just wanted to make a quick point about when you're following people on Instagram and things like that, and sometimes you're going to end up thinking how come they look so good all the time, they literally are wearing the perfect clothes, their hair's done perfectly, they always look great, um, and to be honest the truth probably is they don't always look great, they just show you what they want you to see. Um, and that picture they put up of themselves in the mirror or something it's probably not the first and only picture they took they probably took tons of pictures and then had to choose the right one and then edited it just to put up to show you so don't feel disheartened when you do follow these people they are great for inspiration and they obviously look amazing their physiques are great but don't let it get you down because sometimes I know I used to follow them and I used to think when am I going to look like that or how come I don't look like that how come I look so shit in the morning or before I go to bed or when I come home from work or whatever. So I'm just about to weigh in. Um, first thing in the morning before I drink any water. I drink water through the night but I just tend to forget that. You want to make sure you do this at least at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week so you know what you've lost. Um, but I do it every day, every morning, just for curiosity's sake to see where I'm going and what type of foods have what effects etc on me. Um, so I always do this on a hard floor because uh, it's going to make the difference. As you'll see in a minute, I'll show you the difference when I do it upstairs on the carpet. I've got boxes on today, but I uh, normally do this in the nudders. But I'm not going to do that here on YouTube because otherwise you can see like this little thing poking out by here. And that was my finger, by the way, just in case. That's 80.1 kg. So, I'm actually up uh, from the beginning of the week. Um, the beginning of the week, I was about 78.8, I think. Um, which could mean I've put on a bit of weight this week. Um, but also, I did leg day uh, just the other day, the day before yesterday. And I do tend to find that after leg day, your legs are so eager for all that food and energy that they do tend to store a lot more glycogen and things like that. So I do tend to find that I'm a bit heavier after after a hard leg day. So I'm going to weigh again tomorrow, Monday morning, um, just to check my final weight for the week. Because obviously today is still part of my dieting week, Sunday. Hopefully it would have dropped again. Because it does fluctuate quite a bit from day to day. Depends on workouts and food. So yeah, now I'm going to quickly show you the difference um, when I go upstairs on the carpet. In case that's what you're doing, because it's really not giving you an accurate reading. So here you go. This is what it's like on a carpet upstairs. So you've got the floorboards and the carpet, which is going to be taking some of the weight. See the difference from 80.1 just now. Look at that. I just lost like 5 kg. So there you go, make sure you're doing it preferably downstairs on a hard floor to get the most accurate weight. Accurate, accu, accurate weight. Accurate weight. Yeah. I'm going to film today to show you what it's like a day in the eating of intermittent fasting. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to eat at the moment. I quite fancied a bit of a bit of bad food, maybe a Domino's or something, but I might might avoid that today, so I can show you guys a bit of a bit of variation, because otherwise that'll take up all my calories. So I'm just chilling here, doing some editing with my big cup of coffee. Um, it's only a normal amount of coffee in there, uh, just loads of water, so it lasts longer, and it's going to help me fill me up a bit. Um, I haven't really been feeling hungry yet, my stomach's been sort of grumbling, but I haven't really felt the hunger pangs. Um, so when you are intermittent fasting, you want to make sure you're having one to two cups of coffee. It's got to be black coffee, um, because then there's no calories in it. Um, 
Oh, and also you can have some tea as well, green tea, as long as there's no milk, because um, there's no calories in that either. But you definitely want to be having your cups of coffee. Um, not too many, only one to two, because you don't want to lessen the effects it'll have on you. The more you have of the coffee, the the less it's going to uh, be beneficial to you. And in the end, you're just going to become dependent on caffeine. So, the reason you want it is, one, it's going to suppress your appetite. That's what caffeine can do. Um, it's going to suppress your appetite, which is going to help. I tend to have it around half, nine, ten, because that's when I tend to feel the first bit of hunger. Um, and then the other reason you want to have it, and which is more important towards the beginning of trying this diet, is it's going to help you be a bit more mentally alert. Um, whereas now, I'm even more mentally alert than I was before. The other day I was doing a leg session with a friend who is still on the sort of diet I was on previously, where he was dependent on carbs. And just like I used to when I was doing a leg workout, after the first exercise or two, my head was so foggy, my energy was completely drained. And even though I knew my muscles had much more in them to do, um, and they would have been able to do it, I just, my head would just be gone. It would be so glazed over and foggy that I couldn't focus, couldn't concentrate, and I was tired and yawning. Um, and this happened to my friend the other day. But now that I'm on this intermittent fasting, I'm just so alert, so clear, um, so awake. I used to nap all the time. Um, now I really need that because I just feel great and I'm so much more productive. Um, but I have the coffee because of the appetite suppressing benefits that I'll have. Um, so you want to be doing that too. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get back to my editing. Okay, I'm just about to have my first meal now after fasting. It's been eight hours since I woke up. So it's three o'clock now. And there was eight hours of sleep, so that's 16 hours in total now. So now I'm just starting my eight hour eating window. And I usually start with a low carb meal, um, so that when I then go into my workout, after that meal, I'm still burning my fat as fuel, instead of using those carbs to sort of fuel me through that workout. Normally I have chicken and veg, because it's easier to prep for work. Um, but since I'm home today, I've decided to go with uh, <clears throat> this is nine egg whites, um, one whole egg, mixed vegetables and brown sauce and pepper. I've already started eating some. So that's the first meal and this comes in at just under 300 calories, it's about 280 calories. So I've got a lot more to go for the day, another 2,000. I'll probably eat in another two hours now which will be my big meal. Okay, I'm having my second meal of the day. This is the big meal. I'm having whole wheat pasta, chicken, mushrooms, cheese, and a low fat bolognese sauce and toast. Because you know, carbs on carbs is the best combination. Um, and there's you thinking carbs were the enemy, right? No, overindulgence is the enemy. Eating for the sake of eating is the enemy. You just gotta show restraint and and know what it is you want to achieve. Um, I've also got some pineapple to go with this meal. So this meal comes in at about 1,500 calories uh, and I will be having then my other 500 calories thereabouts uh, that I've got left for the day anytime after now. I won't necessarily have it as a meal but see what I fancy. I just eat it as I eat it as long as I stay within that mark and hit my protein as well. Mm. One of my favourite things, cinnamon cream bun and a cup of tea. And that's just a snack, I've still got my last meal to go as well this evening. But I still get to chill out with foods like that. It's amazing. And you're probably sitting at home eating broccoli and chicken I suppose or something like that. Crazy. Right, last meal of the day. And I'm keeping it simple, just going to have protein shake and some porridge. 60 grams, it's quite a lot actually. Even measuring the milk, because I don't want to go over on calories. So what else am I having? Oh, and I'm having a banana chopped up in it as well. Break that up, who cares about slicing? It's all gonna turn into poo at the end of the day, so presentation does not matter. Two. Oh, I'm putting the microwave. Oh no! Got carried away filming. You seeing what you're doing to me? Oh. We'll pick the banana up. Oh, it's all soggy.
two. Just waiting two minutes. Might as well tell a joke. Keep you busy. My favorite joke. How does the monkey make toast? He puts some bread into the gorilla. Pretty good, I know. Not my own, I have a cracker. So in here is two scoops of my protein impact away. It works out about, uh, it is about 40 grams of protein in there. So close. Alright, All right, porridge is done. Now we put the banana in. And that's that, so that comes in at 615 calories. Uh, so I did have a little bit more to play with uh, than I thought. So yeah, so that's the last meal now. It is 9 o'clock. Probably go to bed in about an hour and a half, something like that, maybe two hours. Um, hopefully you won't be feeling too full. Um, and that's my day. And the foods were today were actually kind of... Uh, kind of healthy, um, apart from the cinnamon bun and stuff, I didn't really go too far out, but you know, I am having different things each night, I'm having pop tarts and things like that, sometimes I cook breakfast, a healthier version. If you are interested in trying, I think the best thing for you to do if you're not sure if you're going to be alright fasting, is just try one day. Fast for 8 hours after waking, every time you get hungry just drink loads of water, have your 1-2 to two cups of coffee as well when you're feeling hungry. Um, but I honestly don't feel hungry that often, only maybe twice I'll feel the hunger pains during, uh, during the fast, but they're, they're real soft ones, they're not, they're not, it's not intense hunger like you normally feel. So give it a go and if you find that the one day is okay, push them for the whole week like I did originally and then just push for the month and see how you go. And to be honest, I think I'm going to be sticking with this from now on. And also I get to eat great foods and I actually enjoy dieting now. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it for this week and hope you liked. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.